This video is sponsored by Opus. I'm here with the Opus Mega One, a new portable power station that recently hit the market. And I have to say here at the beginning of the video, I'm extremely impressed with this unit. It performed very well in the tests that I'm going to show you and describe. And in addition, it's extremely affordable, it's well built, and there's just a whole lot to like about this power station. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. I'll get into the functions of the device shortly, but first I just want to talk about the basic specs. So the AC inverter in this device is rated at 2000 watts of continuous output. And I did put that through some test and it passed very well and I'll talk about that shortly. But in addition to the continuous rating, this device can for short periods of time surge at up to 4500 watts, which is great for getting devices started. For units that cost this much and are this size, those ratings are very impressive. And when it comes to storage capacity, this device holds a little bit over one kilowatt hour. Now, I do also wanna mention here that this device is equipped with lithium iron phosphate batteries, which in my opinion is the best for portable power stations. Yes, those batteries do weigh a little bit more than their nickel-based counterparts. However, these lithium iron phosphate batteries last a long time. And according to Opus, even after 3,500 plus cycles, this device should still have 80% of its original battery capacity. Now, in addition to the basic specs, I really like the build quality of this device. It's got two nice handles built in. Everything feels tight. It looks good. Not only is the build quality good, but it's extremely compact and easy to carry. It truly is very portable. And I'll put the exact dimensions on the screen there for you. And I like that it weighs actually a little bit under 28 pounds. And I'll put the kilogram equivalent there on the screen for you as well. But it's, it's, it's pretty light. It's built well. Um, it's compact, easy to carry around. Um, the front of the device is well laid out. You can see the basic USB-C, USB-A ports here. And then we have four 120 volt outlets. And it does say here 20 amp max. And I like that. I also really like that this AC inverter does put out a true 120 volts. And then on this side, you have these two 12 volt barrel DC plugs and also your uh, car adapter right there. So a good amount of basic ports that you have. In order to turn on your AC inverter, you just push the AC button there. I heard that click over. And then on this side, when you put it under load, it's going to show you how long it can run under that load. And then on this side, it's going to show you the output watts, how many watts you're pulling from your device. If you want to turn on these DC ports, once again, you just push the DC button there on that side or that side to turn on the various ports. And then to turn them off, once again, you just push that button. And then I'll take you through a basic tour of the phone application, but this is able to connect to your phone through the Opus application um, via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. With that being said, I now want to go into some of the testing that I did with this device. First of all, I want to talk about the max output test. So once again, this device is rated at 2000 watts of continuous output. That's what the AC inverter is rated at. So what I did is I connected this to a heater and a portable cooktop and I got it to that 2000 watt maximum and let it run for a period of time and it ran that without problems. In addition to that, I did purposely overload it and it did for a short period of time go over 2000 watts in the surge capacity. So the AC inverter seems to live up to the manufacturer's claims. Now beyond running a heater, a cooktop and various other devices, one of the big important tests that I like to put these portable power stations through is the power tool test. Here is me demonstrating this device powering a chop saw and a table saw. One of the most important tests that I like to put portable power stations through is the power tool test. Does the Opus Mega One have what it takes to power a DeWalt chop saw and a DeWalt table saw? Well, let's see. So let's go ahead and turn on the AC inverter there. We're going to plug in the chop saw and then let me go ahead and get my safety gear and a piece of wood and we'll test it out. I'm extremely impressed with the performance with the chop saw. It really didn't hesitate at all and it just easily powered this saw. And that's saying a lot. I've tested a number of portable power stations 
on this channel. And even of the ones that did run the chop saw, sometimes it took a minute for it to build up speed and you could tell that it was struggling a little bit. But this one did an incredibly smooth job of powering this chop saw. Let's now try the DeWalt table saw. Okay, let me go ahead and plug this in. Got my safety gear on. Let's go ahead and turn on the saw. Did that completely fine. I'm going to try a thicker, denser piece of wood and uh, push that through the saw and see if it does just as well. For a unit that is this size, this weight, and the price point that this is at, it runs the power tools without a problem. No compromises. I would definitely recommend this if you need something to take to um, you know, an area where you don't have power but you need to run some power tools. Like This thing runs it like a champ. Extremely impressive. That's the best performance, I believe, so far of a small portable power station with power tools. This is really impressive. I can't underscore enough how impressive that performance is with the power tools. I also put this device through two full discharge tests. What I did is I connected a kilowatt device to the front of it. I plugged in a heater to that, turned it on high, and fully discharged this device twice. Now the reason I did it twice is I wanted to make sure I had an accurate reading. The first time I did the test, it was shortly after charging the device up, and I'll talk about this more, but in the app, it actually shows you the battery temperature, and that battery temperature was somewhere around 99 degrees, so it was kind of warm, and I ran that through and got my results, and I wanted to make sure that was accurate. So separately, I did another test, and the battery temperature at the start of this test was around 69 degrees, and what's great is I actually got the same result both times. So after a full discharge test, I was able to get around 810 watt hours out of this device or 0.81 kilowatt hours. So if you do the math there, that means you're actually able to pull somewhere around 79.1% of the rated battery capacity out of this. Now I do want to say one thing about that. So this device clearly has a small amount of battery buffer built into it. For example, during the second test, it had shut off the AC inverter and the screen said zero, but the cooling fans were still running. So I know this has a little bit of a buffer, so let's just call it a 5% buffer. If this does have a 5% buffer, that would mean that you have somewhere around 972.8 usable watt hours of battery capacity. So being able to actually use around 810 watt hours of energy out of this battery would equate to a loss of around 16.7%. So it's not the best I've seen with my testing, but I've actually seen worse. So overall, it's a decent uh, efficiency there. I wish it could go up a little bit, but it's not bad at all. And that's expected with all these portable power stations. You may get one with a little bit higher percentage there of efficiency. And once again, that's not just the AC inverter efficiency, but that's losses with the fan, running the screen, etc. But with all that combined, you should only expect to get a little bit over 800 watt hours of energy actually out of this device when it comes to the basic losses associated with all of that that I just described. Okay, let's talk about charging this device. You can charge this with solar panels or with the provided AC cord which plugs into the side of the device. And according to the manufacturer, this device on the high setting is able to charge it up to 1400 watts. And on the standard setting, it's able to charge at somewhere around 700 watts. Now in my testing on the fast setting, I was able to see somewhere around 1360, around the 1360 watt range of charging, which is decent. And when it comes to the standard setting, it was charging somewhere mostly in the 740 watt range. If you turn the standard setting on and charge most of the time with that, that will extend the life of your batteries because it's not going to put as much stress on those batteries. But if you really need to charge it up quickly, you can go ahead and turn it to the fast charging setting. And at the fast charging setting, this device can charge in a little bit over an hour, like 1.3 hours. In addition to AC charging, it comes with a cord here that you can use to charge this device with solar panels. It can accept 
up to 800 watts of solar input. And I really like that you can actually charge it with solar and AC at the same time. And with those two combined, the manufacturer says you could charge it up to 2200 watts. Now, if somewhere around one kilowatt hour of capacity is not enough for you, Opus does offer the Mega 2, the Mega 3, or the Mega 5 with more battery capacity. And if those devices perform like this device, you know, that is going to be a good option from what I can tell to consider if you need more battery capacity. But you can also add extension batteries to this device where you can keep it really portable and light if you just need to carry it around to your campsite, to your job site, etc. But you can connect two separate batteries to it. They're B2 batteries. And if you add up the battery capacity of the device itself and those two extension batteries, that would give you a little bit over five kilowatt hours of battery capacity. Okay, I wanna take you through a quick tour of the phone application, which I really like. So you just need to click the IoT button here and I'm going to connect this through Bluetooth. You can also do it through Wi-Fi if you like, but I have the app pulled up. I can click on the Mega One there and then you can see automatically here on the main page, it shows you the battery temperature there on the left, which I think that's a really cool feature. I like to see that. On the right hand side, you can see the battery capacity. We're at 96%. It shows you how long you would be able to run the current load on this device. If I put this under a load, you would see the output number read there. And if I were charging this, you would see the input rating there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the AC inverter. And then there at the bottom right-hand section of the phone app, you can see there's the fast charge section. Right now that's turned off, it's on standard charging. And if you just touch that toggle there, you can see that it turns fast charge on. So that's easy. To demonstrate right there. Okay, beyond the main dashboard, if we touch the settings there, you can actually change, and this is something that I love, how long it takes for the screen to time out. And right now I have that set to never. I personally like that screen to pretty much always stay on. However, if you like it to turn off after one minute, five minutes, or 30 minutes, you can do that. I, of course, have it set to never. And I like that you can actually have the AC inverter turn off after a period of time as well. But just overall, a very easy, simple to use application with a couple features that I just absolutely love, especially the battery temperature and the ability to set the timing for the screen to turn off automatically or to have it not turn off at all like I have it set to. So overall, I'm extremely impressed with this device and I highly recommend it to you. I really like what Opus has done here. And what's even sweeter is the price right now. So the regular price for this device is around $699. However, with a Black Friday deal that I'm going to describe, you can actually get this for under $400. So an incredible deal for this device right now for the Black Friday deal. So this is how you get that best deal. During their Black Friday sale, this device is going to go on sale for $439. But in addition to that, I'm going to put in the video description a discount code that will save you an additional 5% off of that price. However, there is one other discount that you can add. It's their special Black Friday coupon sale. So now through the 19th of November, you can actually for $1 purchase a coupon that for this device saves you an additional $30 on top of everything. So if you're able to catch that Black Friday sale plus that 5% discount code, plus you purchase that coupon for $1, that would make this device under $400 all in. That's an incredible price for a very impressive machine. I definitely recommend that if you need a portable power station that you take a look at this one. And at that price, to me, it's kind of a no brainer. So definitely recommend that you check that out. I'll put all the links and the details down in the video description so you can get this device for that price. But nonetheless, I highly recommend it to you. And I really like what Opus is doing with their new mega line of portable power stations. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I would like to say thank you to Opus for sponsoring this video. And also thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon as well. You're really appreciated. And if you'd like to support this channel through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description where you can do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time.